Clock in Baltimore with Kelly Swoop. I'm Jamie Costello. And for the first time this year, we are reporting on the death in our city of a fire. A two-year-old little boy. Fire officials say three other family members of his family barely made it out alive. ABC 2 News' Catherine Holly live in Reservoir Hill tonight with the very latest. Catherine. Only a shell of this house remains out here tonight. You can see behind me a pile of charred and burnt belongings sits right out front. Fire crews did this earlier while they were checking for hot spots inside the house. The entire neighborhood out here is shaken up tonight because of this tragedy and the efforts to save this family. The massive fire inside this house on Whitelock Street broke out just before 2.15. A few doors down, Danielle Smith called 911 when she saw a man come out covered in burns. He was like, please, 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 miss, please, miss, help me, help me, help me. My kids in there. That's when I seen the fire coming out the window. Flames were shooting from the second and third floors, and thick smoke poured out. All I could do was drop to my knees and pray to God. There wasn't nobody left in the building. But three little boys were still inside the row home. That's when, you know, two men from up the street ran down the street. We're working in a... Uh... I've seen a fire down here, so I grabbed a fire extinguisher. A neighbor captured the cell phone video of the two contractors running inside the burning house. If you look closely, you can see one runs out carrying a little boy, and not far behind, a second child is pulled out. Horrific. Terrifying. Some kids come out the house like that. And when they came out, they had the two babies, so I grabbed the two older babies and put them in the ambulance. Fire officials say the quick thinking of these two strangers saved the lives of the three and four year old boys as well as their father. We would have to classify them as being heroes. Uh, these gentlemen, you know, they saw the situation, they raced to the situation, and they did, it, did what they could do to assist. Uh, they went in this burning dwelling and was able to remove the uh, adult male and these. Uh, two young children. But with the rescue comes tragedy. We're told the youngest child, a two-year-old toddler, didn't escape the inferno. Smith says she's hugging her children a little tighter tonight. It's just sad. It's real sad. Shit and no parent have to go through, you know, losing their babies. It's just sad. Rescued from this home are all in the hospital tonight being treated for burns. We're told the two boys are in serious condition and their father is in critical condition. The cause of this fire is still under investigation. Right now, it's not clear what sparked this blaze or where it started inside the home. It took crews about 45 minutes this afternoon to get this fire under control. That's the latest out here live in Reservoir Hill. Catherine Hawley, ABC2 News.